Today is the day! If you've been following my channel, you know that I've been getting a lot of flack because I have not compared the mobile toolbox for the Rigid compared to the Ryobi. I've gotten a lot of flack for this. Everyone's saying that the Rigid is far superior. So today, we're going to find out. Now, typically when I compare toolboxes, I'll do them one at a time, but for this one, I'm actually going to do two at one time because I want everyone to see the disparities and the good things about both of them. So let's go ahead and jump into it first. As you can see on the front of them, they have really nice latches. Both of them actually have really nice latches. This actually has a uh, plastic piece here and it covers the front of this. Now I'm not sure really what the meaning is that of that is for, but it does have some branding on it. Um, and this is kind of more along the lines of what Husky is using. Uh, if we pull up the handle, it does lock in place. It has really nice rubber overmolding, and that is a 360 degree rubber overmolding. You do have a handle here, which is really nice. You have the side handles, which doubles as the locking mechanism to the next box. So this will fold up, and as you can see here, it does have two latches, and you would just push that on there. Now, what I can see is if you use this enough, being that this is metal and that this is the plastic part, is that you're going to wear out that plastic part at some point. So you're going to have to come up with an alternative solution to make sure that they just don't flop off and, you know, once they start to wear this out. But they do lock back down in place. If we take a look at the bottom, you do have four feet here. Now these four feet would sit right here and here for the next box down. Everything else is pretty plain on the bottom of it. Now if we take a look at the latches here on the Ryobi, these are a bit more beefy here than what these are. They're thicker metal, um, they're wider, they have more hinge space. I would say that these hinges are better than the ridges hinges for sure. Taking a look, we do have handles on the side if we look at the bottom. This is how it latches to the next system, or the next box down, and it's a mechanical system, so it's not a friction-based system. Um, it is spring-based, so it's not gonna wear out the same that this is going to wear out. So I think in terms of connections, the Ryobi gets it, it's stronger, it's not going to wear out as much. Looking at the front, it has a uh, rubber overmolded handle right here. Now that's only 50% rubber overmolded, where the pressure on your hand would be. Let's take a look at the back side. So if we take a look at the hinges here, uh, this hinge here actually, I think is beefier than the ridges hinge, but the rigid on how it stops at a 90 degree angle and how it sets it up, it actually uses part of the hinge and that supports it. I think that's better than what the Ryobi has here. It just kind of flexes the back of it, so it doesn't have that reinforcement. So I'll give just for that, and I think this is a little bit more durable, I will give this to Rigid. But this is a more robust hinging system that's actually on here. I think this is just better supported. Okay, let's stand them up. This stands up just like a suitcase. This does not stand up, and that is a big mistake on Ryobi's part. They should put some feet on the back of here. Okay, let's go ahead and open them up. We'll take a look at the inside. Okay, so a couple big things that I wanna point out. These are both IP rated for water resistance. They both have a gasket that are in the lid itself, so you're not gonna have water get into them, which is really nice. Now, this here, you're gonna see organizing bins. If you see my videos, I actually made these. I designed these and put them in here. I have a top and bottom plate that holds everything in place so it doesn't spill. This actually only comes with two bins. They lock in place with these little triangles here and that tries to keep them from moving around. It doesn't really do a great job though. And this is not a solid backing, so it's a skeleton, so screws actually flip up into here and they go everywhere. So I think uh, Ryobi's got some work to do there, but this is not considered an organizing bin. This is a tool box. You can haul a lot of tools in it. Um, if we look here, this actually has really good organizing bins. It has dividers. They do come out. And if you look right here, oop, dropping. 
This actually fits really nicely into here, so this is proud of the surface. This goes into the organizing bins, keeps it safe, keeps a good seal. So you're not gonna, it's not gonna move around and you're not gonna spill things. Now, that is not for the middle. The middle, actually it, it caves up in here a little bit and that is to, I guess, put some bigger items in there and give you a little bit more choice. So first and foremost, let's take a look at the organizers. This is right at four inches by three and a quarter inches, and that's for all of these, they're all the same size. For the Ryobi, this is four and a quarter inches by eight and three quarter inches. And then the smaller bin is four and a quarter inches by, well, four and a quarter inches. All right, so the interior space of this, this is really nice. You can have it open so you can haul a lot of tools in here if you do so please, but the interior dimensions is 20 and a, uh, say 20 and a quarter inches, it's right there, at 10 and three quarter inches. This is 20 inches by 14 and a quarter inches. So the Ryobi has more space to store tools. You can haul more inside of this, which is nice. But the Rigid has decent space. You're not going to haul as much, but you have more options to actually put dividers in here. And I think it, the versatility, putting some tools in here, whether that's a drill or whatever you need to put in here, putting your bins on that side, I'm actually really impressed with that. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to transfer these first. I know I'm going to be cleaning these up. So I have uh, one inch self-tapping screws. I'm going to put them in here. They're locked in right here. As you can see, I'm going to close the box. Just turn it upside down. Shake it. Drop it. Kind of the normal stuff in case you accidentally do it. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so it's not in the same spot. We actually. We have a lot of screws in here now. I know it's going to be cleaning these up. This it, uh, it always happens this way. It can't stay in here because of the surface. Okay, so let's throw it into here. We're going to put all the same screws into here. I'm going to put it right in the middle where this would be. Okay, exactly the same spot, nothing spilled, nothing moved. Okay, so let's talk about build quality real quick. This is a softer plastic, this is a harder plastic, in fact, I almost, now I'm not a plastics expert, I'm not going to pretend like I am either, but what I will say, this feels like it may have some fiber built into it, some fiber reinforcement into the plastic. It feels a lot more rigid. No pun intended. It worked out pretty good though. They do make an organizing bin. Rigid does. I'm not using that for here. I'm trying to do apples to apples. Okay, so we need to talk about an overall winner and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to leave you hanging. This is cheaper. It has better organization inside. You can still haul tools. Now it's not as big. This is more expensive, it is bigger. I think the full system that you have is better, especially for your home organization, uh, for this box to be able to click onto your walls, to be able to kind of cross over into that professional field. I believe that professionals are already using this. And I think that this is just a little bit more rugged, a little bit more durable. You're gonna get a little bit more out of this, but there's not as much space. So. I've got to say rigid one this one for sure between the organization the security in here uh, to for things not to move around to keep your bits you know your drills everything like that the overall it's got to be rigid this is still a very good system but they have some things to work on they need to come out with kind of like a bin that may be just like this or they need to actually get the organizing bin system with the acrylic top on it. And it would be really nice if they were to be able to protect it. I think that they can do it. I think there's a lot of options out there and it's probably coming out. We just haven't seen it yet. 
So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful in your search for a mobile tool organization system. If it did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.